Josh, do you commute to work? I do. I do commute to work. Do you consider your commute a part of your work day? No. Actually, mentally, do you or mentally? You... Mentally, I do, but company wise, company wise, like, they would not, not say it's part of my work day. <laughs> so, um, this has been a struggle for people um, throughout the ages, and there's a staggering figure that has come to light, and it it brings the question like whether or not um, it's truly worth it. Like, this is another like stay or work from home type conversation as well. So if you factor in, um, you know, if you work eight hours a day and it takes you 30 minutes to commute, which is a kind of a small commute for small slash normal commute. So if that's the case, then you add one hour to your day. So it's a nine hour day work day, right? Yeah. And versus a work from home, which is obviously zero commute. You work just eight hours. So the average American spends 8,500 on commuting and 239 hours traveling for commute in a year. 2,000? Yeah. Those are rookie numbers. They need to get those out there. Or no, 200, yeah, 239 hours, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I commute. I I will just say this, um, my personal experience, it's like I've had literally like 15-minute commutes and I've had hour-long commutes. Mm -hmm. Um, It is not rare for you to have uh, such a commute, especially living in a big city. Mm-hmm. Um, like, I would just say, like, San Francisco, uh, L.A., uh, just any sort of big city, just commuting in New York, too. Like, it is not rare for you to have yeah. a 30-minute to an hour commute for most people. Any type of, like, hub location will obviously demand a premium when it comes to um, traveling time. So, um... Yeah, so this equates to across America, 16 billion hours across the entire United States. That's a lot. That's a lot of hours, actually. And the total cost they've calculated was $578 billion per year. If you counted those, like, if you counted that one hour yeah, as an hour of work, that's how much money is being lost that's crazy because essentially like my point of view is like it's hard because like the mm-hmm. thing is like there are like what you mentioned those central hubs of workplaces mm-hmm. where you could find a job it's usually or typically where the higher paying jobs would be yes but the closer you are to it the more expensive the housing is yes. so one of the reasons why people commute in so far is because they could do um they have the you the rent is much cheaper outside of major mo- metropolitan areas mm-hmm. so it's literally like the reason why people have to commute so far mm-hmm. is because of that so kind of yeah, crazy but if you think about it this way if you're spending like an average of eight thousand dollars per year that could be d- taken off of like stuff but i think even still like your rent or price of a house would be still much cheaper to commute in sadly yeah enough. yeah and the crazy thing is that a lot of things had changed after 2020 um a majority of workplaces now uh within the corporate setting um are doing hybrid mm-hmm. so hybrid is pretty good if you have like two to three days, I don't think it's too bad uh, just commuting in for a few times a day. Mm-hmm. But ideally, a lot of people, what they want would be just fully remote because like literally it's like zero cost, zero yes. time. And then it's you have the flexibility to to just log on and not have to like either get ready mm-hmm. in the morning. Yeah. yeah. And do all of the things you need to do and then drive or take public transport to where you need to go. Yeah, another um, argument people have to having the commute be added into your workday is that a lot of times people aren't just commuting. They might be taking a meeting in their car. Oh, yeah. Or they're um, actually working on the train or wherever they're doing. So it's not like unproductive time. It's just maybe like slightly less productive because like you're not in a, like a very controlled environment and like you can't, you might not have like the greatest signal and stuff. But people do make that argument. But. As you may know, um, 
managers and the corporation do not see it the same way. Yeah. And, you know, they do want people back in office because they argue that um, it definitely hinders the um, growth of people. So I, that's like what they've been saying. I like, do have a, a hot take on this, by the oh, way. Oh, really? I do have a hot take on this. This is oh. crazy, okay. by the way. I'm so I'm going to put my conspiracy hat on really quick okay. and say that these cities are working with these businesses oh, really? in these areas because, because uh, commercial real estate is like essentially falling off a cliff right now because mm -hmm. with the majority of uh, companies going remote or even hybrid, there's not as much of a need oh. for these spaces. So yeah. the city has been pushing or some cities have been pushing for uh, um, employers to get their employees back, not only just for um, their business and like having them utilize the space, but also for the surrounding small businesses oh, or businesses around. Yeah. That's my conspiracy little hat right mm, there. I could see that. Yeah. I think, in, I think in truth, like, yeah, once all the people, all the commuters and, and like um, people leave, there's only the locals in it. And, and if the locals can't work because all the businesses have left, because they're all going remote, then it begs the question, like, why would they stay in the city? And why wouldn't they move somewhere else where it's cheaper? If yeah. They could do their same job remote. Yeah. So I think, it, yeah, it's slowly, like, drying up most or, like, a lot of cities. And if you like this type of conspiracy work oh my God. job, <laughs> okay. uh, work from home, commute, business, consider liking and subscribing to our channel. We come out with videos daily. Yes, and we have a library of over 100 videos closing in to 200 videos. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure there's something in there that you probably will like. And, you know, while you're there, consider subscribing. It only takes a second, and we would really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. Yeah, and yeah, let us know down below if you think that commuting equals part of your work day. Because I feel like it in some ways should be. Uh, yeah, I, I would consider in some ways because, yeah, I think you're right in some aspects of that. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. If anything, it could be a perk. Oh, my if, God. If yeah. you've had that as a perk, you're like, oh, OK. That would be good. Yeah. Because I know it incentivize people to go in and say, oh, you get a maybe like like uh, some people will get differential pay mm. for working nights or something. Yeah, I think so it's you good. Get, like some sort of differential pay for going in or. Like, yeah. Yeah.